We're going to come back to finance, but there's a, a segment of these conversations always where we do overrated and underrated. So I toss out something, and you give me a short answer. Is it overrated or underrated? Um, you re we already have a problem. I'm not good at short answers, but okay. Bitcoin. Correctly rated. Correctly rated. In science fiction, the author, Robert Heinlein. Early stuff underrated, o later stuff overrated. And what's your favorite? <sighs> That is a really, uh, Methuselah's children. Ah, good pick. I could have gone with the obvious. I'm a bit of a libertarian. I could have gone with, with The Mooners, The Harsh Mistress. is his most famously libertarian it book. It doesn't but I, age so well. No, I, li I like Methuselah's children. Ben Bernanke. Fairly rated. Fairly rated. Actually overrated by half the world dramatically and underrated by half the world dramatically. Reality. And that might be partisan. Reality TV. I know I'm modifying it every time. I'm, I'm destroying the spirit of it's your fine. question. No, no. I used to think horribly overrated. I never watched any reality TV. I have 11 and 12 year olds, and we watch Shark Tank, a reality TV business show. We watch The Old Survivors, which is basically teaching game theory to 11 year olds in a sneaky way. <laughs> this guy's doing this, so this guy does it. Um, so I, I now, I, I, I will say fairly rated, and much better rated than I, than I gave it credit for in the past. Now, you've told me you're a hockey fan. Wayne Gretzky, overrated or underrated? Oh, he's massively highly rated and still underrated. And what do people miss? <laughs> people miss, I think hockey fans don't miss this, but the general public misses that he was a guy who was undersized, less fast, uh, uh, slower, as we have a word for less fast, <laughs> uh, than, 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 than other people. Um, and it, this is cliche sounding, but he, the people always used to say, he was a humble guy. People uh, would say this about him. He skated where the puck was going to be, where everyone else was skating, skating where the puck was. And having watched him, I just think it was true. So, I don't know how he got that ability. It's a mutant ability, but he had it. A bit like a momentum investor. Yes. Now, I'm interested in this issue, as I think you are, extreme performances or performers. And it's measured most readily in sports. So Gretzky is a kind of extreme outlier. In basketball, you could say Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who will be in the series as an outlier, maybe Michael Jordan. In sports or some other area of your choosing, which is the extreme outlier, which strikes you as the most amazing, and you just say, oh my god, I can't believe there's a Wayne Gretzky, or fill in the blank there for me, other than Gretzky. I have no sense if this is, if this is actually accurate. But I'm going to go, actually, no one could measure this. It can't be accurate. You're not going to believe what I'm going to say. Cirque du Soleil. Please when explain. I sit there and watch Cirque du Soleil, which both my wife and I like, I literally walk out and go, nobody can do this. And I don't think they're cheating. They're not cheating, right? And what is Go it? watch it again. It's, it's, like, it's like a Looney Tunes show where Daffy Duck dies from up there into a little thing of water down here and he doesn't die. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Um, everything else, the crash of 87 was a 20 standard deviation event, nothing. Um, Wayne Gretzky, pretty good. The Cirque du Soleil people. I once, the chart. I once, this, is, this, this, this story was from Vegas and it's not staying in Vegas, uh, but I was in <laughs> Vegas um, and I was exercising. Um, and I know you find that hard to believe, but I was. And the Cirque du Soleil people were in the gym and you don't want to ever do that. It is one of the most demeaning, humbling experiences. <laughs> they exercise exactly as you, they did this thing um, where they just keep leaping over each other and they go around in a circle and they did it for like half an hour. <laughs> and I'm sitting there on the Stairmaster on a three. <laughs> Spider the best Man, I got. Spider-Man versus Batman. Who wins? And ba why? Batman wins every time because unlike most superheroes, he cheats violently. <laughs> Superman races with Flash. They both travel at the speed of light. Yet Einstein tells us there are no simultaneous events. Who wins? I, I'm going to ignore the physics, much as the comic books <laughs> do. There is a, this, this is actually a pet peeve of mine. I'm more of a Marvel comics than a DC comics. I know everyone wanted to know that uh, in the audience. DC is much better now. But um, when I was a kid, they exaggerated all the powers much more. Marvel had realistic superpowers. You could run at 500 miles an hour, not the speed of light. DC would go at the speed of light. You have no idea. You might, actually you might, um, but this is one of the things comic geeks will fight about. Um, and they've had this about five times in the comics. They've had races between them, and of course they, they try to cheat and make them a tie. I know why you tried to, 
to come up with that. I subscribe to a theory that is on the internet. It, is, it has a name, I've forgotten the name, but it's a documented theory. But it says the flash should win because the specialized power should win. And I it, agree. And it, but, but what I, uh, I like- It's a portfolio theory, in fact, right? In equilibrium. Portfolio theory, comparative advantage. Absolutely. Um, though it has a little bit of a, the world must work out fairly but notion the world to does it. Work which it, out fairly, right? Long term. Long term, very long term. <laughs> Mutual funds, overrated or underrated? Oh, we run mutual funds. This is a hard one. All right, I'm going to be... Other people. I can't be fired, so I will go overrated. Active management, I think, is overrated. I'm, I, I believe certain things can win. I've talked about a few of them, but on average, I think people try too hard to beat the market and pay too much for it. I'm, I love if people listen to me. I believe in what I'm saying. But if you, if you go spend your life listening to a man named Jack Bogle, you won't do terribly.